Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to the Sinai Peninsula. Today we are in, in the Sinai Peninsula of Egypt on one of the branches of the Red Sea on the Gulf of Aqaba. Um, behind me we've got some of the mountains that are contiguous or connected to uh, Jebel Musa, Mount Sinai area. And we'll be discussing these more soon, inshallah. But right now, I'm holding a, a, a grasshopper, perhaps a locust. I'm not sure how you would distinguish between the two. I've, I've often thought about them as the same thing or within the same family grouping. But perhaps uh, you could explain in the comments uh, ways to distinguish between the two. But it makes me think about biblical stories and the, the story of Musa alayhi salam and the, the plagues of Egypt and you know the, the plague of locusts that was brought upon the land. Um, and it also makes me think about the book of Revelation because we see a lot of bookends within the, within the biblical tradition between like the book of Genesis and the book of Revelation. So you got Genesis and Exodus together and then the book of Revelation and there are certain interconnections between those first two books and the final book of, of the, the Bible as it, was, as it was put together in ancient times. And um, in the book of Revelation, we have the locusts that can inflict pain upon the people for, I believe, five months. Um, and this is during the apocalyptic period. And we also hear about the, the plague, or we also hear about locusts and grasshoppers in the story of Yahya alayhi salam, John the Baptist. Um, he was said to have been, uh, he, he would, he lived in the wilderness and he would eat locusts is the saying, although I've seen enough evidence to suggest that it, it might have been a mistranslation and he wasn't eating grasshoppers, but he was actually eating locust bean pods, which are carob, uh, carob pods. So carob is a, a chocolate substitute and you can turn the beans into uh, wafers that have, have a, a nutritional value, I believe proteins and some vitamins and minerals. And, and uh, they, he was said to have dipped them in honey and eaten them that way to have cooked them in oil or made them uh, raw in the sunshine. I don't know exactly, but it's very fascinating. But, you know, if you could maybe just uh, talk about how to distinguish between locusts and grasshoppers, that would be quite interesting. But so anyway, we're here in, in Sinai, in the Sinai Peninsula, and there are a few different interesting issues that, that we intend to discuss, inshallah. One of them is coming to the places of the prophets is uh, very beneficial from my experience and people think about oh you go to these these places of the prophets and um to visit you know tombs and and most of the times the tombs i don't even think that they are historically accurate in most cases to me it doesn't even matter um for a while i was asking the question does it matter if they if this is the historical location of a particular prophet um, of his of his burial or a place that he spent time, um, prayed, contemplated, fasted. Um, we'll discuss that a little bit more in the near future. But I think what's what's really important is that we connect with their stories in a personal way with the lessons of the prophets. So, for instance, we're here in Sinai, and it's associated with uh, the escape from Egypt, with the Exodus, with Musa and, and uh, alayhi salam, his brother and sister and, and, and Bani Israel, leaving Egypt where they had been enslaved uh, for 400 something years is the story. And they leave Egypt and they go and wander in the wilderness for 40 years as they head toward Canaan, toward the Holy Land. Um, and these are fascinating stories that hold tremendous value for us to think and contemplate in a personal way, as well as collectively. But basically, this was a hijra. An exodus is a hijra, leaving one place to go to another for safety and for practicing one's deen, for preserving one's iman, for, for drawing near to Allah. And here in Sinai, we have a lot of opportunities to contemplate these stories. Um, so let's, let's go ahead and discuss some of these issues in the next few videos, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.